in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail from um, Spain. Now, another homebrew game for the MSX. Thus, I have broken out the MSX shirt. Uh, well, I'm assuming it is, and I am correct. It is none other, and I've waited for this one for quite some time because um, I'm mainly available at the Europe fairs, and I've heard so much about it. And it's called Pampas and Celine. Look at the size of the box. Alright. Looks in beautiful. Beautiful condition. Look at that. So, um, the MSX has a wonderful series of games called, starting with the first game called Nightmare, which is a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up. Um, and then they had a sequel, Nightmare 2, which was a side on um, 2D platformer and a sequel, Nightmare 3. So, this is a homebrew sequel to all of those games. Done in absolute loving detail. But it's for MSX2, 2 Plus, and, M and Turbo R. Um, it has an SCC chip in it, I take it. Um, and, uh, you know, a pretty big ROM. And some of those screenshots look absolutely gorgeous. So, as I said, I haven't played this at all. I haven't played, um, seen any videos or done any demos. Um, this box work is just absolutely gorgeous. So, it flips open. Got some loose stuff in there. There we go. Um, and uh, so what do we have in here? We have a little uh, a spine card like they used to do in the um, Japanese games. And they've, they've done a little um, Konami-like logo. <laughs> but for unepic games. There's... Um, a survey card, so they've gone for the real, you know, full experience. Uh, there's actually a uh, plastic cover take it for a CD or something. Uh, we have an absolutely gorgeous manual that feels really good quality. Some information about the characters. About the game, and I said it's real, really good quality printing. They've done an outstanding job to get, you know, homebrew games here that are, you know, as good or if not even better than the original quality of the original games that were released. And we have double pockets here. We have the cartridge, which is in a very nice shell. It's so obviously you need at least an MSX2 for this, but that also means that it's going to be nice and colourful. And there's also a CD folder with the um, original soundtrack on it. So there's actually quite a few songs on here. Try to move my fingers out of the way. Oh, and it's got a disc too as well. So plenty of stuff, and a little bit about the composer. Sorry. So glorious packaging and lovely extras. I'll, I'll definitely have to um, give the CD a play. I actually have a. Um, a five CD player in the games room, so I reckon um, this will be a good addition to that when I'm working on other things. All right, so I'm, I'm very excited about getting this game, so let's get out an MSX 2 Plus um, and give it a play. All right, so here we go with Pampas and Celine. I'm very excited to play this for the first time. 
Um, they've gone to a lot of effort. It has um, proper intro sequence here, which I'll let run for a little bit because we put so much work into it. Might as well, might as well have a look at it. Definitely has wonderful music and really well drawn graphics. It's actually really nice to get, <coughs> you know, a game that supports MSX2 and greater. Because it, you know, takes the MSX system to, um, you know, pretty much like Atari ST Amiga levels, even for it though it's an 8 bit system. So I've got a bit of story, you know, I've got a lot of work to the story and everything. Can't imagine how long it took the guys to make this. There really are some you know, people who work very hard to make excellent games. And you've got to love that SSC music. <laughs> so an archer and a sorceress potentially to select characters or you can play both of them I don't know Graphics are excellent. Right, just about the end of the roll, and then we'll get into it. <coughs> so, Mogdos Castle. Right. Let's give it a try. I was the very first time playing this, so I do apologise for my. But look at that, that's pretty cool. So sword and jump. My ladder here, so I'm going to climb it. Ooh. Yep, destroy the barrels. Now I can I jump. Yep, you can hold yourself up a bit. There we go, we've got some money. Up a bit there, but be careful. No, nope, I've run out of energy already. Well, better have another go. Right, we'll just go to, we'll go to the right this time. I see, so they go to roost positions. Oh, colour is wonderful and colourful. Okay, not sure what the various collectibles are yet, but I said it was very naughty and didn't read the manual. Very natural jump feel and Ah, 
ten worlds, okay. So we've got a fair bit of exploring to do. My bow to fight, yes, okay. Go and find it right above the entrance. So that's what I need to find, okay? you've killed too, so once you clear the room, you clear the room. Which is good. So directly above here, so this is the bit where I died before, so okay, there are those bats. So that's a game save, okay. Oops. Ah. Oops. They put a lot of effort into all these levels. find the bow first, but um, we'll keep on exploring. Hmm. 
<laughs> I'm wise to you. <laughs> so you gotta work out fairly intricate paths to get these the stone tablets, don't you? Take it this is the boss fight and we're not ready for it yet. Okay, because we don't have all the things to summon the demon. That makes sense. I really like the controls, this they're very um, fluid. So we need to get this way. Oops. monsters, so it's good to know you need to kill Oops. 
So we're definitely getting there. I might have done the wrong thing because I've got <coughs> gone into this world without getting a bow, so. Let's see around I would manage to restore my health. Yes, it remembers your progress, so yeah, I can go back and... That's very cool. Still learning, aren't I? But um, as you can see, there is so much to that game, and I really didn't want to stop playing. So um, this is going to keep me entertained for ages. So uh, just completely outstanding by the quality of homebrew games that have been coming out recently for the MSX. That they're really uh, getting to another level of quality. Um, so highly recommended. Um, I put links down below to an Epic Games site, um, and um, you, you know, if, if you want a copy, you just have to see if they're going to do any more batches in the future. Obviously, that with the amount of quality they put into it, um, there's a fair bit of expense that goes into a batch, so they do need a reasonable commitment before they do another one. So we'll just have to wait and see. Um, but if you're over there in Europe and you go to one of the fairs, you might be able to pick up a copy there. Um, but um, incredible incredible game I reckon and uh, the community has actually voted this game Pampas and Celine um, game of the year 2023 and um, I, I'd give it 10 out of 10 as well so 
Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.